sassy, strong, and hysterical may not be the first words that come to mind when describing Disney princesses, but a new off-Broadway production could change that. The show called Disenchanted is putting a new spin on Disney classics and leaving audiences doubled over with laughter in the process. We have three stars of the show here to tell us a little bit more about it. Welcome Becky Kulsvig, Michelle Knight, and Jen Becker. Thank you guys so much for being on. We really appreciate it. Jen, you play Sleeping Beauty. I do. How does it differ from the traditional role? And in general, what's kind of the premise of the show and how does this differ from the Disney classics we're so familiar with? Yeah. Um, well, I play Sleeping Beauty and she is um, definitely a bit boisterous, a, a bull in a china shop. So she is different from the Disney movie, but uh, she's going to make you laugh. And uh, Michelle, I know you play Snow White. Yes. Sort of how did the idea of this show come about and what can people expect to see? Uh, well, the writer of our show, Dennis, he was a history teacher and he noticed that in the tales that were being presented through the Disney movies that things like Pocahontas were presented very differently than the way that history actually provides. So um, he wrote some really fun takes on the reality behind the princess stories, the real fairy tale princesses. And what about the Disney purists out there, the people who love the original stories? Is this not for them? I think it's fine because there are things in the Disney stories that even if you love them, you realize they're a little bit ridiculous. And my character is actually the closest to what those versions are. Uh -huh. And she sort of comes out of her skin as the show goes on, so you sort of see her realize there's more to it. But I think it's always good to see people that you see as very vanilla and basic sort of get bold and brave and have a new take on it. In a funny way. Yeah. Well, I know you actually did work as a Disney princess, too. How does it feel kind of doing the role reversal here? Um, I think this is a perfect way to cap off my career as a Walt Disney World employee. <laughs> and Walt Disney World loves it. They've come to see us, and they think that this is a hilarious roast of their product. And uh, we think that the New York public audience will think that way, too. And last fall, you sold out the show. How does it feel to be back? Oh, it feels amazing. New York audiences are loving us. Um, we're bringing them into the seats. They're laughing with, uh, with us, and um, it's just pure instant gratification to see them <laughs> out there smiling and enjoying the show with us. Well, I can't wait to see you perform. I know we're getting a little sneak preview here. Thank you all so much for coming in, and if you want to check out more on the show, you can head to our website at cbsnewyork.com. For more information, you can check that out at the website, and now let's go ahead and get that sneak peek, one of the numbers of the show here. Take it away, ladies. Thank you. Skin as white as snow Lips cherry red A million dollar crown with shiny jewels sits on my pretty little head A castle Would you wake up? Cause it's time we told the world the truth that all those films and fairy tales are driving us out of our freaking princess minds. And just one more once upon a time and I swear I'll go insane. a girl! One more slipper made of glass and I swear I'll pop a fan. Who thinks he's cute and charming? Who slips me the tongue while I'm asleep? It's alarming. Oh. One more guy with perfect hair. And off we go out to the drawbridge for a leap when all the guards are fast asleep and say they cannot swim or float. They'll find us face down in the boat. Now some believe that all we crave is diamond rings, but today I'm here to tell you we want more. We like feature films and fairy tales. To feature more than girls with veils. We'll ride off with some guy they met one page before.
ましょう。